Welcome to Screw the Commute, the entrepreneurial podcast dedicated to getting you out of the car and into the money with your host, lifelong entrepreneur and multimillionaire, Tom Antion. Hey, everybody, it's Tom here with episode 865 of Screw the Commute podcast. Today, we're going to talk about something, man. I don't know what the world's coming to. <laughs> Virtual influencers. Virtual influencers. <laughs> They're not even real. <laughs> they, they influence you. So, so we get a lot of not real stuff nowadays, I guess. So uh, make sure you pick up a copy of our automation ebook at scoothecommute.com slash automate free. Let's see what last episode was. Let me look here. Okay. Uh, I'm looking. Oh, how to tenderize your promotions. That's what last episode was. <laughs> Hope you didn't miss that. That was 864. That's how to calm things down a little bit instead of overhyping all your promotions to pick up a different group of people to buy stuff from you. Okay, so I told you about the Automate free book. Yeah, you want to get that because you don't want to be fighting with your computer all the time. All right, let's talk about this virtual influencer. So I get an email and you know, I get literally hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, probably 700 to a thousand emails a day and I'm lightning fast going through them. I, I, I never unsubscribe from anything pretty much. <laughs> I just I read them all because I get marketing ideas and ideas for these podcasts and all kinds of stuff. Some things I agree with, some things I don't. This one is just, it's one of those, what's the world coming to kind of things. But, but, uh, there's a guy, uh, this isn't who the email was from, but there's a guy named Cameron James Wilson, Cameron James Wilson. And he cl claims that he invented the world's first digital supermodel. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and, and I'm going to dispute that because he seems like he's a young man and he probably does not remember the 2002 movie called Simone with the gorgeous Rachel Roberts and also, and the main star was Al Pacino, where uh, Al Pacino was a movie director that was having trouble, so he invented this virtual actress, gorgeous girl, <laughs> and ended up she got real popular, and uh, he didn't know how to handle it. So anyway, that's uh, Simone from 2002, one of Al Pacino's movies. So anyway... This Cameron James Wilson invented this supermodel, and her name is uh, Shudu, S-H-U-D-U, I think, Graham, Shudu Graham. You can look her up. <laughs> She's in Wikipedia, and she doesn't exist, all right? But uh, she... Uh, she, and, and since then, there's been lots of these virtual influencers just made up out of thin air. Some of them have millions of followers. This one I was reading about charges $10,000 for one Instagram post. They're still out there. You can look it up. Just look up virtual influencers. Um, the, this Cameron guy got a little controversy in that he's a white guy and he created a black supermodel. <laughs> So, so how does this apply to you? Well, this email that I got in today's email was a program, and I purchased the program. I think it was seventeen dollars. <laughs> it's one of these things that this is worth two hundred and ninety-seven dollars a month, but we're going to give it to you for seventeen dollars one time. <laughs> right? I get those kind of things all the time. Some of them work, most of them don't. Uh, but anyway, I, I bought this one this morning, so I haven't really tried it out yet. But it's it was touting itself as make you a virtual influencer. And it has parts of the program will take your face and put them on other videos, right? And, you know, that's copy, you know, still going to be copyright infringement if you take <laughs> certain videos. But if you get some of these uh you know, Creative Commons videos, you could put your face on them. But it'll also invent total avatars for you. And it'll do artificial intelligent uh, artwork to use in your videos. <laughs> All kinds of stuff like this. So, so 
but but they're touting it as you could be a virtual influencer and never be seen. And and that's a lot of people don't like to be on video. So I don't know how this is going to work out. I'm going to make some of these things in the next couple of weeks and I'll put them up on a web page so you can look at them. Um, and I'm not promoting the program. I'm not an affiliate or anything. I'm not even going to tell you the name of it at this point. Uh, because like I said, a lot of these are just garbage. They, they, they're great at writing sales copy, but the programs never work right. <laughs> and so, so I'm going to give it a try and <clears throat> maybe I'll be a virtual and maybe I could be a, a black supermodel. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. I'm not sure uh, I could get too much work as a black supermodel or any kind of supermodel. But, but anyway, this is called virtual influencers. So you could look, I, I encourage you to Google that term, virtual influencer, and you'll see loads of them out there that have channels all over social media and they do not exist. <laughs> All right, so so check it out. All right, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Or maybe this isn't even me. Maybe I'm virtual. <laughs> but uh, check out my mentor program, which is not uh, uh, a fake thing. It is real at greatinternetmarketingtraining.com, and we will catch you on the next episode. See you later.